Good idea. Wait. Oh, I did. That's a terrible intro. Oh, that's not. Cut. Cut. Terrible intro. Get out of your mic on. Okay, cut, cut all that. <clears throat> cut all that. Cut all that. I'm not even going to do an intro. You know what? I'm not even doing an intro. Not doing it. Not doing an intro. Um, oh, I forgot to. Um, Forgot to announce it on. Um, oh, it doesn't matter. I did, didn't I? Get over there, Jay. Jay Lee. James Martin. Uh, channel. There we go. Oh, God, look at that chat. Hmm. I don't know if I want that chat there. I don't know if I'm happy with chat on the screen, just quietly. Um, don't know that I'm happy with that. Oh, what's wrong with that microphone? Or is that my end? That's my end. my laptop I'm sure of it you guys can hear me all right <clears throat> looks better bottom left right right okay oh yeah okay no, that's looking all right Okay, yeah, no, I like that. Looks better. And yeah, I changed the, the font size as well. <clears throat> yes, hello. Hi. Yeah, hi. How hey, you go? Uh, Quincy. Uh, that's Elsie. Uh, she's a Datsun 120Y. Uh, we're going to get her back on the road. I've forgotten the whole intro. Um, I haven't done it for days. Um, what are we? No, I don't see. That's, yeah, don't worry about it. No intro tonight. Not now, anyway. Maybe later. All right then. All right then. All right then. I'm in the shed. That's what's going on. I'm in the bloody shed again. Strange but true. The shed again. Ah. With no clear vision of what's happening this evening. No clear vision at all. Basically, um, just the usual, just the usual, we'll just start, <clears throat> start doing stuff and just see, see where, what it leads to, ladies and gentlemen, g'day there, my name's Quincy, this is Elsie, she's a 1977 Datsun 120Y, and with a lot of work from me and a little bit of help from you, we're going to get her back on the road, doing doughies and fishies in the, in the, in the mud, in the dirt, handbrakeies. So that'll be fun, won't it? Might raise some money for charity while we're doing it. Big road trip somewhere. Pitch a tent, just put a tent in the back. Can't wait. She's a bit dirty in there, mate. Can't sit on that.
It's just cruising down the down the road in this thing. It's just going to be unreal. I'm um, out the window. That's a sweet rearview mirror. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's just perfect cruising position. <laughs> Here you go, mate. Here you go, mate. Here you go, mate. Oh, yeah, you go, mate. Yep. Cannot wait. Radio dash. So much room. Four speed. Yep. Seat belts work. Uh oh. Oh yep. Seat belts are working. I hope I can undo it. Bloody ripper, mate. Oh. Bloody ripper. There's a um, there's a two door version for sale in town. One of these. Can you believe it? Two door version. Can't believe it. Oh shit. Oh we've um well hold the phone. Hang on a sec. Yeah mum, how you going? Yeah good. Yeah we've just I think we've just been raided. I think we've, um, what's happened? Oh yeah, we have. Spanner, spanner. <laughs> Thunder spanner. Thunder spanner. Yep. Yeah, he's a fisherman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's been fishing off the coast of, um, where are you fishing? Um, Queensland, somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Jub says g'day. Red Dogs from China, um, Aussie 21, can't wait, oh this is, yeah, it's all happening, um, yeah, Hug Lead Beater, better, he's at a 120Y as well, it's, everyone's, everyone's bloody, everyone reckons they've had a bloody data. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, eh, how you been, yeah, right, yeah, nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah, say hi to Baz for me. All right, mate. Yeah, all right. All right, yeah, I've got, I've got to go. I've got to go. All right. All right, cheers. All right, yeah, love you. All right.
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty funny, eh? What about a legend? Raiden Run, yeah, Thunder. Um, hang on a sec, Mum. Uh, Thunder, yes. Uh, enjoyed the fishing today. It was good, man. I, I caught, as you saw, I, I was in and out between driving buses and stuff. So, yeah, good stuff, man. Um, and my peeps know your peeps, so we're sweet with the whole shout-out stuff. It's cool. Um, you know, yeah. Uh, but I'll just, i got to, yeah. Yeah, Mum, I've got to go. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got things to do. Yeah, no, that's cool. All right, no worries. All right, see ya. All right, bye. Right, wow. G'day there. How you going? My name's Quincy. <laughs> uh, this is Elsie. She's a nineteen seventy seven Datsun one twenty Y. Uh, with a lot of work from me and a lot of help from you, we're going to get her back on the road. And we're going to do some skids in the dirt. We're going to do rally events, charity. We're going to raise money. And we're going to use Elsie. She's going to travel all over the country. We're going to stream it live. And you can watch it on YouTube if you really want to. So that's a rundown, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, you know, get comfy, get comfy, uh, and let's enjoy restoring an old car. And remember, one bolt at a time, and make every nut count. And if you're watching this on repeat on the YouTubes, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Uh, do all that sort of stuff that they tell you to do on the, all the other videos, follow and stuff, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, wow. Thanks, Th Thunder. And hello to the Thunder crew. Uh, I've really enjoyed uh, watching Thunder. He's. Um, yeah, he's got a good thing going on there. Good to watch, good to watch. So we've only just met too, just for a quick rundown. I didn't know anything about Sp uh, Thunder until like, I don't know, a week ago, not even. Not even. But anyway, that's, I digress, I digress. We're sort of, um, I've got a, I've actually, I've got a problem, I've got a little bit of a problem. I'm going to take the oil pump back off. I've been, um, I've been informed that uh, we really should pull it apart and check the internals of it. It's got some, uh, there's bits in there that can clog up, as, as I've been told. Um, through my wonderful uh, backseat mechanics that I do appreciate a lot because I've learned a lot from you guys. Um, even though I don't read chat like all the time, I do like, I read it after the stream um, and it's quite entertaining. Basically, that's why I do it. So yeah, if I miss anything, um, I do, I do catch it. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I catch it. I bloody catch it, man. Right, well, that's um, that's probably enough for the intros, I guess, ladies and gentlemen. The rest is up to you. Um, and uh, fluff about for a bit until we figure out exactly what we're doing. But I'm pretty sure Pretty sure I'm going to pull it off again. Um, oh, thought your stream froze. I got him. Yes. <laughs> uh, get a funk. How are you, man?
mate. Where's the turbo? Uh, got him. Thanks, Aussie. Cheers, man. Cheers, cheers. The old Funkaroonies in town. Um, got a few bloody tabs open up in the background here. Got to keep check on what's going on here. There we go. Oh, look at that chat down the bottom there. That looks pretty good. That'll look good on YouTube. Um, you put a 180B. Oh, yeah. I mean, like the... the um, it's limitless, isn't it? Like this is just the, this is the standard 1.2, the A12. So it's the base model. So to learn to do this, pull it apart, strip it down, put it back together. Imagine after we've done this, put it on the road, had a bit of fun, what's next? You know, like just, you know, you know, you hearing me? You hearing what I'm putting down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is just the beginning. This is just seriously, this is the beginning. You're here at the beginning. There, this, is, this is content for years, ladies and gentlemen. Not going to lie. We have content for years. Beyond and beyond. You wouldn't read about it. You wouldn't read about it. Uh, so yeah, chat was, Shory was yelling at me. Some other guy was yelling at me in chat the other day. I was totally, I wasn't ignoring them. I, I, uh, I, they were there. <laughs> I'm like, uh, and I was looking at the manual thinking, do I really need to pull that apart? And they're like, they're here in the back and I'm just ignoring them. I didn't, it's like, no, no, you just, you were just going to put it on. But now I've had days to think about it, days to think about it. And I'm like, you know what? We can't, we just can't. We can't not pull that apart. There's like, come on, mate. Come on. <laughs> there it is. There it is, mate. Let's get it bloody off. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um... I mean, you know, having said that, uh, I'm hoping it's going to be like sort of easy ish. Um, Okay, 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 so uh, we've got a mark, what does it say? Um, where do I read that bit here? Uh, remove this here, little, 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 Mark the outer end face of the pump outer trachoid rotor. What the hell is a trachoid rotor? Inner rotor shaft. Is that, that's the only shaft I'm seeing. Um, uh, remove by tapping the end of the main body, the end of the main body on a bench. What the?
Oh, bloody hell, mate. Bloody hell. Red's qualified. Anyone speak anyone speak mechanic? Just hit it with a hammer. It does sound like that, doesn't it? Spot O. Yeah, look, um uh, First step is to take it off, so you know, let's not screw around any longer. Well, I'm sorry if you're a qualified mechanic, because I'm probably going to give you like PTSD syndrome or something like that, like traumatize you, because I'm not a mechanic, like I wasn't taught, I haven't been to mechanic school, I've only learnt what I've learnt over the years from just tinkering, 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 tinkering. So I'm sorry if I upset you in any way, shape or form. Um, my only advice is just walk away. <laughs> just, just walk away. Come back later. Come back later. Come back later. Uh, right, so there we are. It's off again. It's bloody off again. So I was not a fan of pulling this apart at first. Um, There's a pin through there, so I don't know if I have to take, it's just the top bit, it's just the top bit, isn't it, that needs to come off. And the rest is, that's just flat all the way through. So, sounds like you just got to hit it with a hammer, just tap it. Just give it a tap. Look at this thing, look what I bought the other day. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. So I feel like just, I probably should put in the vice, but I'm also just thinking, is it just going to, like, if I just sort of, like, just, how hard do you need to, wait, there's a screw as well. Okay, slow down. Slow down with the hammer. And I reckon put in the vice meets. Probably put in the vice. I think putting in the vice is a good idea. Let's get it secure in a vice that I do have just here. Um, how are we gonna secure it in a vice? Which way do you wanna do this? You'd probably wanna do it like, yeah. I don't know. Let's see what happens when this uh, screw comes out. We'll just go from there. There we go. Screw in a little washer. What's that supposed to do? Is that some sort of... Um, what is that? Is 
something to do with um, All right, I am going to put that on the edge of the vise just here, which you can't see, but you can hear it. So it's very noisy. Sorry about that. I need to grease it or something, you know, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, mate. What are we? How are you? Where, oh, whoa. Hey, look out. It just fell apart in my hand. It just fell apart in my hand. Look at that. Oh, if only I'd taken that screw out <laughs> like three weeks ago. It just fell apart. I couldn't. <laughs> You're joking. You're joking. <laughs> wow. It just fell apart. Who'd have thought? So there's a thin gasket, which I think we got in that kit. I'm sure of it. Wow. What a, what a turn of events. Or was that, wait, did I get two of those? Yeah, I did. There he's there. Is that it? Is that it, mates? Is that bloody it? I think that might be it. It's very thin. Very, very thin. Very, very, very thin. Is that it? That's not it, is it? Wait. You know, that's it. Okay, sweet. Oh, well, that was... <sighs> Faked freeze. Takes a little while. G'day, Edward. How are you, mate? Oh, man. So... can't believe that thing just fell apart. Uh, it was just that one body screw. That makes me a little bit annoyed, just quietly. I, like I, I, I looked at it, I knew it was there, I've, I've seen it. But because there was only one, it wasn't making sense. Like why is there only just one Um, yeah, just didn't make sense. And then I'm like, well, oh, I just couldn't. Yeah, I just couldn't. But then it's amazing <laughs> how all that just works. <laughs> you just don't have to be scared of anything mechanical, I don't think. You just got to just go for it. But then I can't, what am I saying? I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't even, I'd put it back on. <laughs> I put it in the too hard basket. <laughs> I didn't have to. It's bloody easy, mate. All right, so how does this, it's pretty cool how it works. Can you guys see that? It's like an inner, it's like an inner and an outer. And it just, uh, Look at that. Can you even see that? I don't know. Maybe. I'll be closer. How close can you get? Let's, I'm just going to experiment here. Um, where are we? Somewhere like that. Uh, yep, a bit closer. How close? How close is too close? Is that focused? Not sure. Can't tell from here, but I'm just for my own pleasure later on when I 
sit down and watch myself. I'll um, figure out what's going on. Yeah, all right, mate. Thanks for that. That's great. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to... I don't think I need to take the shaft out, to be honest. I really don't think I need to take the shaft out. But I know someone's going to be there going, no, 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 you do. You have to. You have to. You can't go this far and not take the shaft out. It's just a pin that pulls off. And then we should be able to hit that out. I mean, do we, wait, do we, did it say there's no point? Did I read that? Let me, um, um, we're supposed to mark the outer end face. For the pump. Oh, okay. By, by tapping the end of the main body on a bench. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So that. So this. You got to mark. Mark where it is. And then. that wait wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute what are they remove it by tapping the end of the main body on a bench which way does it does it come out that way does it go out goes out that way is that what they're talking that's what they're talking isn't it Is that how they're talking? Tapping the end of the main body on a bench. Um, like downwards, is that what they're saying? Am I like, is that just, is that gonna, we haven't marked it yet. Is that how it's gonna go? Is that how we're, but it's gotta go, this has gotta come off, surely. Or do I even have to? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put that there. I'm just going to put that there. And I'm going to move back to this and clean out the, um, what's like, what's like a pressure, pressure regulator valve. Let's just change direction for a little minute, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll have a think about what we need to do with that. In the meantime, um, in the meantime, where are all my spanners? Here they are. We're going to need a spanner. Thunder spanner. Do 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 do. Thunder spanner. Do 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 do. You've been thunderstruck. Uh, what is it? Seventeen. Wait a minute. What the? What is this? We're going to use a, you want to use a socket? Let's use a socket. 19 mil socket. Um, hold it in the vise. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, sort of, how do you want to hold it? Probably on the bottom there. Right, mate. Good idea. No, that's not going to work because you can't. How about just do this and this like that? No, that's not going to work. Or will it? Just do it. Look at that. There we go. No one can see it, can they? Make sure no one can see. Yep. Okay, ready? There we go. Didn't see nothing. Okay, pull this out and there'll be a spring. Hopefully it doesn't go shooting off into the distance. Well, thanks for coming this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for hanging out. Good to see you all.
Okay, what do we do down there? Do we need to... Is there something, there's something down there, isn't there? Is there another... I think that pushes, so that must push up. So you'd want to make sure that that pushes. Oh yeah, there it is, I can see. Is that it down there? Maybe. Uh, I'll take the, um, should take this off too, I suppose, because that's all part of it. Mm. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Mm. I thought I heard um, footsteps. Yes. Yes, yes, you make an appearance. Yes. <laughs> no, once a stream of sound. Right, right. Yes. We we got uh, we got raided by a thunder spanner. Thunder spanner. Have I told you about thunder spanner? Nope. He's a fisherman. Fisherman. So he, he fished for ten hours today yeah. in a boat off the coast of Queensland. And streamed it all. Streamed it. Yeah, yeah. So he came in to my chat a little, probably about a week or so ago. So that's how I found out about him. And yeah, turns out he's got viewers in his chat that come here yeah. that I've known for years. <laughs> crazy, bloody crazy. Crazy mates. <sighs> That's my son, if anyone's interested. Who most of you know. Yes. Maybe that can be all one because you're quite weird. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, he sounds like a weirdo. <laughs> oh, that thing just fell out. <clears throat> oh, the uh, little valve thing just fell out. Uh, that was handy. How do I... I'm just going to do that. Sort of need to get the vice <clears throat> in the view, don't we? It's not much point not being able to see it. Coast the maestro. Hello. Hello. I didn't send out a text. I was wondering if you'd um, if your alerts are working. But yeah, I do need to get this vice into vision. So it would have to come back, but then we're running out of space. I don't really have, I don't really have the, um, the space. Boom, 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 boom. It would have to be, it would have to be sort of down. Uh, could be on the end. Actually, that would work if I brought this back a bit. Like that. Um, that might work over here. Let's have a little look-see. Let's have a little bloody look-see, mate. Come on over. Let's bring it over. Because if I'm going to break something, you might as well see it. So 
or it's all just it's not worth it, you know. Move that light. Um, this needs a different. I've got, to, I've got to turn this to 12 volts. I've got I've got everything I need to make this light run off the solar power, solar power, the solar power, the solar power, the solar power. All right, how's that look? Is that in view or not? Is that in view? That is in view, but you're going to get in the back of the head. That's okay. Um, Well, I mean, really, that's fine. You can all just um, stand to the side. That's all right. Perfect. That'll do, mate. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. So we've now taken the... Uh, this is the... Um, this is some sort of... Uh, I would imagine an oil pressure valve, uh, switch, no, what do you call them? Um, gauge, uh, yeah, you know, one of them things, oil, oil pressure switch, it's a switch, is it a switch? What's it switching? Does it go from low oil pressure to high oil pressure so therefore it must activate the or take that that would disconnect the light that'd be a, this would be like a it'd be a does this have an oil light on the dash yeah so that would probably be like red lit up as you put the ignition on and then as you turn the key and it builds pressure that would then close the switch turning off the light that's um that's the way i understand that i think that's pretty correct i think i mean it sounds pretty good you know, I don't know. It sounds pretty legit Pretty legit, mate. That's pretty legit. I'd believe that. I'd believe that. I would believe that. How's your uh, how's your Melbourne trip there, um, big sis? Right, on, that looks pretty good. Um, that's obviously not stuck because it fell out, so that's a good sign.
probably should put a new crush washer on it, but I don't actually have any spare. So I'm just going to reuse this one and I won't tell anyone. So that's fine. No one needs to know. Well, g'day there. How you going? My name's Quincy. This is Elsie. She's a 1977 Datsun 120Y. And with a lot of work from me and a lot of help from you, we're going to get it back on the road again. Hopefully raise some money for charity. Well, not hopefully, definitely raise some money for charity. Road trips, rallies, dirt rallies, in the mud, wheelies, donuts, handbrakeies, you name it. Um, and then when we're done with that, we're going to pull the motor out. We're going to put a bigger motor in. And then we're going to go do bigger rallies. We're going to get faster. Um, and we're going to do another lap of Australia. Well, we're going to stream it all. It's going to be all on YouTube for repeats if you miss it. Um, thanks for watching. And remember, one nut at a time and make every bolt count. And if you're watching this on YouTubes, on repeats, sorry about that, but you know, if you miss it, you miss it. Um, do all the things that YouTube like you to do, like comment, and like, and subscribe, and tell your friend, or or don't. I mean, really, you know, um, I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to be doing what I'm doing, um, whether I'm, you know. Uh, So where were we? What are we up to now? We got to we got to finish off this pump. It looks pretty good. Um, we'll check all the uh, we'll check all the orifices. Make sure we've got flow. Workers are real. Workers are real. Harriet. Harriet with some biddies. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Harriet, mates, look out. Any mates here as well? There's trouble. Um, Trip is fantastic, excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, cool, cool, excellent. Pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay, yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. So um, here we are with the oil pump that I wasn't going to touch. But we are now touching it. I sort of need some compressed air 
So that means turning on the compressor, which means a lot of noise. What time is it? 7.42. Um, I don't know if that's going to wake up the neighbours. So we definitely have to get this pin out if we want to get the inside out. That's That would have to be how it works. And then that all just comes out. But you've got to mark, if anything, let's mark it now. Like it says we should mark it. So I guess just scratch it with something. Just a little scratch. Just a wee little scratch. Just a wee little scratch on sort of he like here. Yep, that's that should be okay. A wee little scratch there, and a wee little scratch on this side, and what about? where it goes in here. Wait, does that matter? That wouldn't matter. It's just the inner and the outer, surely. That bit and that bit. So that we put them back in. Alright, I can decipher that. That's fine. Okay, so the next thing would be to get this pin out. So that would need like a um, something I don't have directly, probably like a, uh, what do you call these things, Allen key, maybe, just the right size Allen key, might push it out. Surely that would work. Surely. If we put it in the vise. Um, which way do you want to put in the vise? Do you want to hold that bit? You probably want to hold that bit. How are you going to do that, mate? I don't know, mate. Um, the little wood blocks. Do I want to go underneath? Can we just, if I do that, um, well, it probably doesn't matter. Just bloody do, bloody, bloody. Just, um, it's not going to be in there super, super duper tight. Let's just do something like that. Something like that, perhaps. And then I reckon um, we just tap that out. That should come out. That's my thinking. Um, with this one, probably won't need a very big hammer. Uh, something like that, perhaps. And I reckon if I just maybe tap on the end of that, if it was a bit, if it wasn't actually an Allen key. That's coming out. It'd be better if that wasn't. What about like a, a small Phillips head? A small Phillips head is probably a better option, ladies and gentlemen, perhaps. Let's have a look. A 
something like that. Give it a tap. I think it's coming out. Maybe not. Tap it harder, perhaps. Might need a harder tap or a smaller Phillips head. Um, not really sure, to be honest. Not really sure. Um, maybe that's not the right thing to use either. But then again, what else are you going to use? You know, like we're going to, we're just going to have to go for it. And maybe just get your good hammer that you just bought. It may just need a little bit more, you know, persuasion. What do you think about that? I think that's a better. And let's just uh, lay it down there for a bit, maybe. I feel like I want to support it underneath as well. I've got a problem with that being like that. That's my problem. What if we go like this and just put that under it? Too big. Um, thinking too much into it, perhaps. If I did that, just need um, probably thinking way too much into it. But let's let's just do that anyway. That's a bit more there, and let's just uh, grow some bloody balls, mate. Is that actually fitting properly? It's hard to tell. Maybe I need to go a bit smaller. Just a smidgen smaller, perhaps. Too small? Don't know. Don't know. It's painful, but isn't it? Watching me flounder helplessly. You're probably yelling at the screen. You gotta use this, you gotta use that. Sure, he's probably crying in the fetal position. Spud's like, just hit it with a hammer. I just can't tell if that's too big or not. And do we just need to hit it more? You just have to, there we go. There you go. She's coming out now. All right, good, good. Okay. Yep. And she's she's coming all the way out. She's coming all the way out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, do I have to mark? Now that's just a cap. I'm hoping I don't have to mark this bit. It's the, it was the top bit, wasn't it? With the oh, I don't know. Okay, the pins out, pins out, pins out. It doesn't matter which way that goes. Surely not. Or does that just um, now that that's going to want to come this way? I think we're uh, finished with the vice now, perhaps, maybe, but should basically does that now just that's got to come off surely that's got to come off that's got to come off how um, is that just going to slide off do you think what do you reckon probably needs a bit of persuasion a bit of persuasion um, drive out the pin securing the pump drive gear to the shaft and tap the shaft an inner rotor out of the gear and pump assembly. Wait, does it go? No, that's that's a shaft. 
So that's got to surely that. It's, they, they, they just, these manuals are shit, to be honest. I'd much rather watch a YouTube clip on how to do it. Someone else has done it. These old bloody manuals, they're just confusing. So I'm just going to, just going to walk away for a little minute for that thing and just, um, just take a breather. and uh, try and figure out what we're going to do. How these damn things bloody work. Um, I guess I can... Um, I mean, there's nothing stopping me from having a look here, is there, really? If I was to do, like, um, if I was just to randomly, well, not randomly, I can't see the keyboard. I think, actually, maybe this needs to come down. That would be a better thing, because I can't actually, um, that's actually a good idea. Bring... Bring the laptop down. I think it needs to come down. Uh, I would like to be able to type in the laptop. And I can't see from up there unless we angled it. And then that's a pain in the ass. So no, let's um I'm gonna make a move. I'm gonna do it. It's quite easy, it's not gonna take very much. I can just go there, like so, and then, um, I mean, all this stuff, that's all shit that can just go up there, really. I don't use that stuff much anyway. something like this um, um, and see what pops up if there's anything um, oh me hey I pop up look at that Hey, that's cool. <laughs> There's my YouTube. Huh. What do you know about that? Okay, so I'm probably not going to get a perfect... Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Um, so really, what are we, what are we actually... I want to know... It's not going to help me. That's not going to help me right now. It's not, this is not the time. This is not the time. Here's Shuri. Shuri might know. What the bloody hell? Shuri, how do I get this apart? Do I... There was a pin. So I'm assuming that comes out. And then... It's got to it's go that way, surely. 
Like this whole shaft has got to lift that way. And for it to lift that way, this has got to come off. So, yeah, I must be able to slide that off somehow. Is it also, does it go right on the end of that? Like does that shaft go all the way through? I think it must go all the way through because that's got to hold, that's, that pins, <coughs> that pin must go through that bolt as well, the inner bit. So I reckon, can I just tap that out perhaps? Can I just like, if I just, um, tippity tap on the end of that, is that going to move? I've got a sneaking suspicion that that may actually move. Um, what am I going to tap it with? That's a good question. I'm thinking maybe um, that and that, build a little buddy type of thing with my nice hammer and give it a give it a bit of a tap just uh, I'm thinking maybe in the vice too just to give it a, a bit of uh, something to hold on to if I just tap it slightly wait no we can't do that because that's going to hit that's going to hit, so we can't, we've got to do it um, by the, s maybe we just, just give it a tap on the bench mate, to see, it might even just pop out easy, or it might not, because that's like, yeah that's not a, oh, wait a minute, something fell out, <laughs> right, okay, so, there's that. <laughs> now what? This, that's got to come off, surely, somehow. That's body come off. That's got to come off, mate. Too far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. I didn't, <laughs> I, I really didn't think you'd be able to see either. Um, yeah, well, it's just, um, Sure, he's like, what the hell? What are you? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, it's all right, man. I'll I'll get there. I'll get there. Um, we're we're working through it. So that's all one piece. That must, um, do you have to like, um, well I suppose if you, I mean, um, yeah there's no, I just get scared when I think like I have to hit something hard to get it off. I'm scared of breaking something. Like the pin, the pin's got to hold it. The pin's got to hold it. What does it say? Right, does it say it just slides off?
So do we hold the gear, hold the gear, and tap it out. Hold the gear, and tap it out. Hold the gear and tap it out. Yeah, I wasn't. I was completely off just then, trying to do. Okay, I think I've worked out what I need to do. Um, I think. I think. I think. If we hold the gear. Hold the gear and then tap that. That's I think that's gonna get us where we want to be. Um, need a longer. Need a longer one, mate. I mean, I think that's what I got to do, and then probably just <laughs> I'm not. Uh, it slipped. It slipped in the vise, so I'm not holding it properly. That just slid, and I don't want to damage the gears. So I'm just going to step away. Just rethink. Make sure that we're actually going down the right path. Is there a better way to do this? before we um, do something we sort of regret. Uh, I don't think I don't think it moved anything when I just gave it a whack then. I'll only break it once, that's true. That's that's very true. Um, let's see if I can just pull up like a picture. I don't know if that's, that's not really going to help me, is it? Um, All right, so it's replaceable for a start. They are selling. They are selling ones we can buy. <laughs> so if if worst comes to the worst, you know, what's three hundred bucks, two hundred and forty, probably cheaper ones. Um, I'm I'm sure I'm on the right I'm sure I'm on the right path of how it comes apart. I just need to figure out how to hold it all and perhaps a better method of um, Okay, so let's see if we've got some info here. Oh, and they're all interchangeable for the A what for the A series. Okay, that's that's handy. Oh, here we go. Uh, that's a break apart view of it. Uh, 
Um, okay. Okay. So. Oh, oh. Okay, it's actually got another split pin. It's got a split pin. Ah, it's got a split pin in there as well. Okay. All right, so that that means that but that just holds the gear on. So it's definitely got to come that way. And that's definitely got to go that way. Um, um, Okay. All right. All right. Well, um, a roll pin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, got the roll pin out. Okay, should we hold on with roll pin in it? Yep, will be press fit, no pin. Yeah, so well, I mean, you can come and have a close up view so we can sort of see, you know, exactly make life a little bit easier, perhaps, or if we did something like that. Uh, so, the thing here that I'm dealing with. How that looks, how does that look? Let me have a squizzy. Um, yeah, so there's a split pin there that I've pushed through. There's the shaft up the middle. It's got another split pin on this side, which I can't get to, so that's fine. So this. This inner shaft, it's going to be tight. This, this and this inner shaft is tight. So that's going to want to go that way. And the shaft inside is going to go that way. So it's what do you grab, what do you grab and like, what do you put pressure on? Like it's it's going to be hard to get that to go that way to hit anything. I don't want to bust any gears, so I'm thinking I've got to hit it on there. So I've got to hold this or even this bit. You'd probably want to hold this bit, wouldn't you? Because that's gonna that's not going anywhere. That that can't go backwards. So that. Holding that, surely that's the way to go. So I've just got to hit that a bit better, I think, with something. You don't have to take it out. Stop. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, don't have to take it out. There's no, there's no slop. Um, okay, all right, well if we don't have to take it out, is it rude to say it's working, don't pull it apart? No, <laughs> no, not at all, Zach, not at all. There's no, yeah, there's no play at all. Like it's, um, Like the, the slightest amount of, like, 
not even. There's a little bit of up and down, but nothing really. You can't, there's no like wobble, wobble, wobble. And it's definitely not like kum, 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 kum. It's, yeah. So there's nothing inside that that I need to check. Like is there, to me there's like, um, like it's got channels that are in the shaft, but I guess they're not going to bloody clog up. They're not going to clog up, are they? What's, what's, that's just for lubrication. That'd be just for lubrication, the inner channel of, of, yep, and then, yeah, okay. All right, well, yeah, look, if, um, if that's the consensus, then I'm not going to go any further. Saved, saved, ladies and gentlemen. Could have gone either way then. Could have gone either way. Should have just left it attached, you know. <laughs> but no, I had to. I had to. I was. Um, yeah. All right. No. Yeah. Cool. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. It was getting well. Yeah, it's, it makes sense, doesn't it? Like, it was getting very difficult to get apart. So to me, that sort of tells me like, you know, uh, are you sure you want to be here? You know, are you sure you want to do that? And really, if you guys weren't there watching, um, I may have not even gone that far, but, uh, what was that? No, I had another train of thought then. If you guys, um, yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Just pass on that. Um, it was something along the lines of, uh, see, now I've got to get that bloody split pin in. Um, yeah, if you guys hadn't told me, I would have kept going. I, I would have persevered and possibly have um, caused some damage. That was what I was trying to get to. Uh, but then, see, on the other side of that is um, I wasn't even going to pull it back off. Like, so if you guys weren't there, on the flip side, um, telling me that, I really should pull it apart and check the um, the passages and all that stuff. So it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, right. Whatever, mates. What are you going on about? Having a bloody little giggle. It's tough in today. It's bloody tough. Ah. Uh, oh. So now we've got to just backtrack, get that pin back in, which we shouldn't. That's fucking annoying. These things, I'm so, oh, it's like, it's like a train wreck, isn't it? Like a slow release train wreck watching me. It's got to be. It's like, what, how, how, how did you even get this far in life? <laughs> <laughs> I can just, I can see it now. You're all just sitting there scratching your heads. It's like, what? Like, really? Is this guy for real? <laughs> uh, well, you know what? There's always somewhere else to go and be. You don't have to be there. I'm sorry if it's painful. I'm sorry. Ah, just look away. Pretend nothing happened. See, now getting this thing in is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Because I don't have the right tool to put that in. 
Am I going to be able to just whack it in? I'm just, I'm going to have to, really. Like, I'm going to hold it with a pair of pliers and then I'm just going to hit it in. And that's either going to work or it's not. And then I'll ask chat how I'm supposed to do it and then I'll probably just ignore the recommendations. Um, <laughs> Uh, fair dinkum, mate. Is it going to go in? What are, you, what are the chances? Please go in. It's going in. It's going in, ladies and gentlemen. That's a bloody big hammer you got there, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Where'd you get that beauty from? She's a wee ripper. Okay, it's in. It's in. Stop stressing, everyone. It's in. We have now... We can proceed. We haven't destroyed it. We don't have to backpedal too much. I do have a new seal for that, which we checked before we pulled it apart. So now we can move on from getting that shaft out, because that was what, an half, at least a half an hour dilemma. Can you believe it? Oh, you can't bloody believe it. Tupper, 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 ooh. Just tap it in, mate. Should be right, mate. Should be right, just tap her in. Lure bit and tears of past mechanics, yes. Copy that, copy that. Copy that. Got plenty of them. Got plenty of those tears. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> ah. Right, well, um, starting to sniffle must be uh, must be getting to the temperatures dropping, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so is there anything else I got to do with this? Um, I feel like there's orifices in there that I should blow out. Um, but my compressor is not on. And it's extremely loud. I'm wondering. I've got no. There's no bypass valve. I don't seem to have a bypass valve. There's no. I'm supposed to. From what I'm seeing there. Oh, hang on. No, there is. There is. That is a ball down there. Okay. All right, well, I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to leave that as is. Um, let me see if I can poke something down there and it should um, move. It's got a spring behind it, maybe. Scratch it up, that's great. But yeah, no, that's fine. That's working. Um, and then all that stuff just goes back in. So it's really the compressed air that I've got a problem with starting up the compressor right now. That's my main issue with this. Um, do I even need to worry? I don't think it's... It's not going to be clogged up with anything, surely. I mean, I could run some... Um, can we run some like carb cleaner through it? Where do the where are the holes? There's a hole there. That's not clogged up. There, there's there are big holes too. So there's there's no way that any of that's clogged up, mate. There's, she's not clogged up, mate. Just put it all back together, mate. Come on, mate. That looks great. That's fine. That looks pretty good, mate. 
I mean, if anything, you'd probably want to get maybe uh, maybe like a bit of a, a bit of a like a bit of a bloody throttle body and air intake cleaner. Would you be so bold as to do that? Just sort of because then that's going to clean out. Um, then we can read lube it, I guess. I mean that that's a that's an option, I suppose. Um, clean and lube, clean and lube. So yeah, let's just clean and lube. Great idea, Shory. Thanks, mate. It is nice having you in the background. So I'm I'm happy that you that you're here and that you can put up with me. <laughs> well, maybe you can't. Or maybe you're just grinning, grit, grinning your gritting. What do you What are you saying? What's that saying? Um, no, I don't know. Okay, let's just spray this out here so it doesn't go everywhere. That's cold on the fingies. Cold on the fingies, mate. Cold on the fingies. Holy jeepers. Oh. Uh, Aussie. Aussie 21. Where are you from, Aussie? What part of Aussie? What part of Aussie is the Aussie from? Um, Mocker man. <laughs> Like a man. Thanks, Shory. Cheers, man. Good day, get some. Rural South Australia. Yeah, cool. So you're next door to old Funk. Old Funky boy. You guys might be neighbours. Might be bloody neighbours, mate. Okay. Yeah, right. we go funk old funky boy funk meet uh, Aussie 21 21 meet funk <laughs> you're in the same state yeah, that's, that's amazing wow that's great thanks mate thanks for the introduction you're welcome no worries no worries at all um, gonna leave maybe I should Wait, I've got to squirt all that out too. More tears later on. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I've done it. No turning back now, I suppose. Hate is going to hate. Hate, 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 hate. Um, could have been a bad idea. Sometimes you just don't know. Well, I'm going to do when well, there ain't no cure for the summertime blues. Is that a Datsun? Yes. That's a Datsun. Copper Coast. The Copper Coast. And, uh, yes, yes. Lizzie Bumblebee. Yeah, you know, Lizzie Bumblebee. Never heard of her. It's funny how I, I'd never heard of Thunder Spanner until three days ago. And now we're like best buddies. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, now, 
I've actually got to take, before I get too carried away, do I take that seal off or do I put another one on? I should take it off. You've got another one. It's not even a question. Of course you've got to take, take it off and put another one on. Is it going to come off easy? Well, I mean, most gaskets can be troublesome. Uh, where am I going? Over here now. Didn't get any keepers. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. She fishes on the Murray. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is going to be painful, I think. Maybe not. Uh, I should have just left it. This is going to be a pain in the ass, this one. I knew it. I knew it. Please come off better than that. Oh, come on, please. Please, come on. Oh, okay, okay. Not as bad as... Okay, I jumped the gun. It's actually coming off okay. I'm, I apologise, Mr... Um, uh, what are you? Gasket. Oh, that's actually coming off okay. Sort of, just this corner. I can live with that. I can live with that. Okay. Uh, it's just, just, you know, hey, come on, mate. What's the problem? You've, you've, look at all the gaskets you've taken off already. Why are you complaining about this one? You're getting a little impatient, aren't you? You are, I can tell. Yes, yes. Mm. <laughs> My nose is running. It's getting cold. Sorry about the sniffles. Uh, sorry about the sniffles. I mean, it's not, I don't feel that cold, but you can't argue with the nose. The nose knows, you know. Don't want to get anything, anything down the holes either. can hear my son in there, he's playing a horror game. A new, um, some new horror game that's come out. You can hear him screaming.
Alrighty, that's looking pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I'm just wondering what, I still think there's a, a thin layer of some sort of, just something there. So I'm just going to, just going to go like, um, just going to give it a nice, just the finest of like, hey, g'day mates, how you going? Just a little bit, g'day mates, just like that, just to see. What's coming off? Yeah, there's definitely a like a sludge, just a just a fine sludge that's left over that you don't have to get off. You know, I'm not trying to tell you how to clean your gaskets and all your fittings. You know, I'm not a professional, but I personally enjoy the process of getting it as clean as you can just why not you know it's it's relaxing um, you just in the end you can sit back and you can look at the motor and go you know what yeah good job Or, you know, you can just slap it all back together. Um, greasy, dirty. It's going to get you, you know, you're going to get from, you're going to get from A to B. You know, you're going to be, if you're stuck in the middle of the desert, you know, you just, you're not, you don't care. You, you just got to get, buddy, you got to get 500 kilometers to the nearest town. And you don't give a rat's ass about how clean it is, you know. No way in hell. So that's looking pretty good now. Nice and nice and nice and nice, mate. Nice. Much better. Much better. That's a much better. I like it, I like it a lot. I like it, I like it a lot. What you barking at? What you barking at? Okay, happy with that, ladies and gentlemen, happy with that. So then what we want to put in now, seeing how that just fell out before, I might just leave that to last and we'll do, we'll do this section. So we took out the, uh, we took out the valve spring uh, we took out the pressure regulator valve. So the problem is, um, well, it's not a problem, but I'm just wondering, I think that goes that way and the spring sits in it. Yep, that makes sense. So that just drops down like that. So we'll... Um, We've got to oil this all up again now. Well, not all of it, but you know what I mean. Like we've just got to, we've got to put some in here, some uh, tears of mechanics past, and we're going to just do do it all on this as well. Some in there as well, and then we're just going to drop that down in there, like so. Probably should check that it's moving freely enough, which is, there it is. I think that's pretty, pretty free, pretty free and easy. Yep, it's just fallen out. It's getting dirt all over it as it falls into that cloth, but that's, that's fine. Don't worry about that. We got dirt all through that as well. Great. Um, okay, so that's that, and then 
we've got to put um, this back on, which they probably recommend to put a new uh, gasket ring thing on, which I don't have. So we're just going to ignore that and screw that down like so. And the spanner that I use for that we should have somewhere, which is just there. Uh, we can just tighten that up again. Just quickly. Or did I use the socket? I'll use the socket. Use the socket, mate. That's that. Uh, so then I guess what we've got left to do is to put that in here, lubed up, and it's also got to go in the right way. Just use one of your cleanest, dirtiest rags to clean it with, because that's the thing. Um, no, this actually does need to be cleaned, so I'm actually out of. I um, actually need to buy some more rags. But we can spin it, and if it feels like it's all gritty, then we can pull it out and clean it again. So you would do that. So then we're looking at um, we've got some tears to go into there. We've got some tears on here. We've got definitely got tears on the inside as well. Give it a good. Uh, Tearing, and then we've also got to line up with how we had it before we took it apart. So we've got to find the scratch, which is just there, I think, by the looks of things. Um, which one was it here? Oh, I saw it before. Is that the one there? Yeah, there and there there and oh, don't drop it. I can't find the mark again. Great. Uh oh, there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And that's you can see the oil pump, and that's pretty cool. What a design! What a design, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now the issue is we've actually got to put the seal. Um, okay, so then this when this goes back. That just needs a bit of bit of lube in there. Um, the seal surface should probably be clean, so we're going to have to. That's going to be a bit of a stop it from twisting while we put the seal on using another clean, dirty rag. Probably should even use like um, like a grease remover to be even more pedantic, but I'm not going to. I mean, I should, probably should, but then I feel that that's going to be very 
hard to do and not get it into the main body of it. We could probably do it on that one. Let's do it on that one. Let's do it on that one. Yeah, no worries, mate. Right on, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks, mates. Good idea. That'll work. That'll work. That'll do. Just do it on that and then just wipe it on and off. At least it'll give it a better chance than nothing. If it's a shitty seal, that might just help it over the edge, you know. Get all the grease and the oil off, even though it is an oil pump. But those surfaces right there can be clean and free of oil to make the seal as best as it can be, he says. Overthinking it dramatically. And then you take this you take the seal that you just dropped on the floor. <laughs> Fair income. <laughs> That's going to roll off onto the ground. Oh, I should have just left it on. I should have just left it on. Ah. No, no, look, I'm happy I did it. I'm happy I did it because then there's no regrets now, you know. You can't just sit back and go, oh, well, you know. You should have taken your oil pump off. So here we are, and we're learning. I mean, it's all, let's just, you know, come on, mate. It, it's a learning curve. It's all experience. Um, it is all experience. And how does this go? I don't want to drip oil over it. Um, does it go like that? I think it goes like that. Those, that. those two pins there. Yep. All right, well, you're afraid of dripping it from that way. What if you just put it, is that even the right way? Can only go one way, like that. There we go, just put it on that side. It's not gonna fall off now. And then we can do this, like that. Look at that. Huh, good on you. I wonder if we're supposed to seal it with something. Are we supposed to use like a, we're probably supposed to use like a, some sort of a, a sealant, what does it say? Does it say anything in the book? Um, just says a new gasket, that's okay. Oh, that might, wait, is that the, Yep, she's right, mate. Don't worry about it, mate. Moving right along. Put that in there. Screw that down. Um, uh, sometimes, you know, there is a tendency to overthink things, but then, I mean, in a way, it's not a bad thing because then we can just sort of double check, you know, just make sure, like... Are you sure that's what you want to do? Like, really? And then before you know it, you've done it. And you've got yourself a bloody motor that you've... If you'd said to me five years ago, I'd be rebuilding... A motor five years actually no it'd be long ten years ago Maybe in my 20s yeah 20s 30s mid 40s 20s 30s definitely 20 30s no no too hard not doing that too hard not doing it I don't know why what's going on there something was I 
mustn't have put a um, sealant on that thing. I thought I did. I thought I did. Have I got everything back together? I do. I've just got to put the relief valve back on. The pressure switch, sorry. Oil pressure switch. Um, but I'm pretty sure that can just go back in there now, hopefully. We haven't caused any too many issues. I need some mechanics tears on the outside here. Oh, that's probably what that was. That's where that oil that's where that oil's come from. I see. Oh well, shit happens, mates. There we go, put that in. Put that in. It's a short one. Ah oh, well, okay. That was um that was good. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. Did I talk those the other day? I've got a funny feeling I did. We found out what the torque setting was. Something like seven, maybe. It wasn't very big. What did I do with my brush? I lost my brush. Drop a 10 mil socket. Ah. Oh. <laughs> what have I done with my brush? Can't be too far away. Oh, there it's, it's just there. It just wasn't in the right spot. That's all. Carry on, carry on. Yeah, all right. Well, I mean, we're getting close, aren't we? We're getting close. Uh, and there's still a lot of things to button up. A lot of things, but we're, uh, we're making headway. We're definitely making headway. The sails are set, so to speak. If we were, if we were out on the open seas, we would definitely be having good wind right now. Good wind. It's just the wind's just picked up, you know. Like the swells dropped. The boats pointed pointed in the right direction with the optimum wind speed. And we are just, we are hooting along. Some of the best sailing you could ever do is right about now. Don't want to over tighten that, so hopefully I didn't. Righto, well. Uh, that is hopefully an oil pump that is going to work for us and not cause us any problems. He says confidently, that's a cat. Oh, g'day there. My name's Quincy. This is Elsie. She's a 1977 Datsun 120Y. And with a lot of work from me 
and a lot of help from you, we're going to get it back on the road. We're going to raise money for charity. We're going to drive it around Australia. We're going to live stream it on Twitch. And if you're watching on YouTube, thanks very much. Don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff. Hit the like button, subscribe, you know, all that sort of hoo-ha that they do over there. But if you're watching it live on Twitch, you're a bloody legend. So remember, um, one bolt at a time, make every nut count. Thanks for watching. That's not bad. That was all right. That was a good one. Apart from my nose, I felt like my nose was like, just had this big icicle coming off it, dripping down. I was about to like, just break off, snap and hit the ground. Uh, all right. All right, all right, all right, he says. All right, all right, all right. So we're back to, back to square one. And uh, we can move on from the oil pump now, I believe. I think we've done all we can with that. Um, uh, on a good tack, yes, on a good tack. Aussie, thanks, mate. Cheers, buddy. Missed my mark. I know. <laughs> yep, I keep forgetting about, I forget about my mark. I'm more behind the bench. I've got to be. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Does it? it doesn't. You know, come on, mate. <laughs> come on. Just... Camera's moved too. It's not the right spot. Anyway, come on, mate. It's okay. We can't be. You know, we can't have a. We're a working studio. You know, it's, uh, it's always going to be changing. Speaking of change, what are we doing? Where are we at? Where are we at? Um, so we're just dancing around here for a minute, putting putting the tools away. I do like to remain somewhat organized when we go from one job to the next just helps to sort of balance everything out for me um, so I can see what's in front of me I'm not all cluttered up uh, you know we don't want to be you don't want to be cluttered up can't deal with being cluttered up for too long even though I live in a fairly well, I mean, the, uh, yeah, look, don't worry about it, mate. She's right, mate. She's bloody right, mate. Speaking of right, what are we doing? Um, I did have inlet manifold and exhaust manifold. That was, that was on the bench earlier today as well. Um, one issue with this, I'm going to try and reuse this. Uh, I reckon I reckon I can get away with it, and we can use a bit of. Um, it's going to be it's going to be tricky to keep it from not breaking, but I reckon we can smooth that out. Reuse it with some gasket maker. Um, I managed to fix all this. Like I, I don't, some of you might remember that there was some um, snap bolts and all that stuff. I was able to rescue, uh, you know, fix all that up. Um, so that's it's this side the engine that we're talking about this goes here
like so. And then this goes here. Like so, and it actually they actually bolt together as well. So I reckon I reckon we're better off bolting this together last because this is the seal. This is all one seal along here. Oh, it's a fairly thick seal, so it's got a little bit of play. Uh, but that goes behind all that in there somewhere. Uh, so I guess it wouldn't really matter too much. But I'm thinking... It's not going to really matter, but I definitely think that you would do the you would do the exhaust manifold first. Just bolt it up. It doesn't have to be tight. Snug. Snug up this. Snug up them. And just sort of do do that. Uh, All these are clean. I've got I've got new bolts to go for for the exhaust. Um, so when it's in, that that'll go up and do what it needs to do. But I think that's the only setback is this gasket that I need to. I don't think. Well, I don't think I got one in the kit. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Is it, would it be even possible? No, surely not. Um, double check, but double check, please. What if it is? What if it is? What's that one? It's not that one. No, didn't think so. Didn't think so. But I reckon we can. I reckon we can um, save it, that one there. I really do. We're going to have to anyway. That's, there's no questions asked. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to have to do it. Um, prime pump and install. Prime, prime pump. Prime pump. Are you talking... The oil pump, is that what you're talking? What are you saying there? That's what you... Are you saying... What are you saying? Prime the pump. So, are you saying that before you start the engine? Crank it over and prime it? Is that what you're saying? Or are you saying... You would do something now. What are, you, what are you saying there, mates? I don't know if this is how I want to do this, but I'm going to just see. I think it's just carbon build-up.
it's really close to breaking at that point there. I'm not really holding it flat enough as well to be So does that go, how does that, how, what, how, where, what, well, so that must have gone like that. So that's just the inside impression of that. Okay, so that's, all right, so it's actually just the outside part. That inside part is fine. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. And then this side has to be flat. Just on the on the inside really. Yeah, I reckon we'll be okay with this to reuse this and then um Uh, it will leak if it's close to breaking. <laughs> well, I know I said that it is close to breaking, but I mean, there's no, it's not torn. It's just a deformed, just that little bit there that if I was to bend it, I'd break it quite easily. But I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Um, I know what you're saying. But the other thing is, if it does break, it's an easy fix. Um, as far as you don't have to take the motor out, you know, like it can be done. We can take the exhaust off, we can take this off, and we can get to that quite easily. So yeah look um and and if it does leak it's only an exhaust leak so it's not going to damage you know it's not a vital sort of thing if you know what i'm saying i know what you're saying do you know what i'm saying and i reckon that once that's back in it and with some um, high temp gasket grey, I think we're um, I think we'll be fine. I really do. I really think we'll be fine. We'll figure it out later on if we need to replace it or do we just you know like why don't we do it properly now what um, I can't I don't have a I just don't I don't even know if it's available um, we're just going around in circles for probably no particular reason and we can just uh, I'm just going to walk away from it and I think I've cleaned all these threads. They look pretty clean. Or have I? Let me just check. Uh, let me just check if I have. We'll soon find out once we run this over it. Um, I'm going to assume that they're M8s, 
125. Could be wrong. No, that's M8125. I reckon I would have, I've cleaned these. I reckon, surely. Yeah, they're, they're clean. They're not, I can't see anything in them. I definitely would have cleaned them. They look bloody clean. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. How are we going for time? What's what's the time? What are we looking at? It's nine o'clock. Send it, yeah. High term glue, yeah, should be right, mate. Should be right, mate. I mean, I don't, I was just thinking to myself, I don't feel like I've achieved too much tonight, but we have. We've, the achievement was conquering my fear of the oil pump, pulling that apart. That, so that's, that's a pretty good achievement. Let's not, um, you know, let's not beat ourselves up too much internally. I look forward to reading reading chat tonight. So for anyone wondering, I do actually read chat, but I just don't read it a lot when I'm streaming, as you know. But I do read it all uh, later tonight when I look back and just be amazed at how wonderful I am and how good I look on camera. <laughs> You're an idiot, mate. You don't look good at all. Look at you. You're a, look at you. What do you have even? When when did you wash these clothes last? Look at that beard. What are you talking about, mate? No, you know what I'm saying. I'm just playing. Just having. Just playing with this. I'm beautiful. I'm absolutely handsome. You gotta love yourself. You you really do. For those wondering, it's like you just gotta you gotta love yourself. Makes life so much easier because you're not fighting with yourself then. You're not having internal conflicts. Just love yourself. Just go, you know what? You got flaws, we know that. But bloody hell mate, I love you. I love you, mate. <laughs> I love you, mate. You know? And it's just, it's, it's, it's all you need. Give yourself a good old hug. And go, good on you, mate. Doing a bloody great job. Keep it up. What's for dinner?
excuse me, noise. So, um, are we doing that now? Let's see, let's get everything organized. It's just the night's ticking away. Um, my nose is running more than normal, so it's getting chilly. I think that's, uh, yeah, exhaust and cardio manifold. Um, I do have to drive a bus in the morning, so I've got to get up. I'm not on holidays anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. So I've got to think about how my evening rolls these days. I'm back, I'm back on the buses. Um, so yeah, look, I think I think I'm going to leave it as is. Um, by the time I get all this cleaned up, bolts done, gasket, it's the time's ticking. Time's ticking. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. I'll be back tomorrow, probably a bit earlier tomorrow night, um, probably around six ish, maybe five thirty ish tomorrow afternoon, and I can work a little bit later. Well, no, that'll that'll give me more time still finish up probably about this time um so i think yeah i think that's um exhaust manifold yes thunder i mean it's uh if i wasn't going then yes it would be going on um, um, so yeah um yeah thanks guys um, thanks, Thunder, for bringing your crew over. Appreciate it, mate. Um, I'll catch you tomorrow wherever you are if you're out in the boat. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up tonight. We've done a couple of hours, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half hours, two and a half hours. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon should be a longer one, uh, and then Thursday. There might even be some day streams coming up too. Um, there could be a couple of hours of day streams, 12 till two. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, so thanks everyone. Uh, my name's Quincy, that's Elsie. She's a Datsun 120Y. With a lot of work from me and a lot of help from you, we're gonna get her back on the road again and raise some money for charity. We're gonna get a dirty, do some rallies. We're gonna drive around Australia, camping with a tent. Um, we're gonna, what else are we gonna do? We're just gonna go, we're just gonna, we're gonna live stream it. We're gonna put it on YouTube. Um, we're, we're then, once we've done that, we're gonna pull the motor out. We're gonna build a bigger motor and then put the bigger motor in, and then we're going to do it all all again. <laughs> and then when we've done that, um, we'll probably buy another car and do something to it. So um, I'm here for the long run. I hope you guys are. I appreciate you all. Love you to bits. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the flip side. And remember, one bolt at a time, and make every nut count. Thanks, guys. Cheers, guys. I'm out of here. I'm bloody out of here. Oh, hello there. Am I? I'm signing off. Did you come to say hello, or you just? Oh, okay then. We better wave goodbye. Uh, Toodle. Bye now. <laughs>